G'day guys, I just thought I'd do a bit of a follow up, follow on on my controller box build and just to give you a bit of a, uh, a tip that I've come across and used to use from years ago for grouping cables together. Uh, we've got an old cable tie spacer hack. I uh, used to use this um, back in the old uh, hot rod car days when you didn't have the ignition load spacers to separate them. Uh, just a bit of a background, there's just my ammo box just there. Um, I had all my outputs, now these are for my power injection, but I had them all bundled together. Hopefully you can see, just with one cable tie around them. Um, they're just a bit messed up, it makes it a bit difficult to uh, sort out. They are all labelled uh, with the output numbers, etc. But still, it's not neat. Um, so what I've done is the old cable tie spacer method. Just making sure you can see this properly. Yes, um, so it just keeps the nice and sequential number ordered the other way flat so it's easy to hook one out. So you haven't got like a big group of cables like that and you're trying to think, oh, is this number one? I know you can read the labels, but it's just sometimes easier just to be able to follow them through. Uh, I'm just making sure, yep, you can see. So this is how you go about it, it's quite simple. All you need is obviously some cable ties. Depending what size, and the smaller ones work quite well as well. And we'll just put that up there. We'll cut this cable tie off, which has got them all bundled together. <coughs> now I want to separate just these top three and the bottom three, but you can use the same method if you've got multiple uh, pigtail outputs. You just put cable tight around the outside uh, like such now don't build up too tight but like nice and loose at the moment so you can put your smaller cable ties through for the act as a spacer uh, maybe space some smaller ones or you can use the same size it really doesn't matter these are just side lying around separating through So you don't have to do these up overly tight yet. I like to leave them all nice and loose so you can adjust them to where you want. Like such. It's quite simple. Use a nice little spacing. So yep, pop the top bring down a bit further along. So they will lay nice and flat. We can pull them up just a bit. And there we go. Cut the ends off. I like to push the, the ends just in between as well. Just to keep some out of the road. And there we have. Nice flat um, spaces. Okay guys, thanks for watching.